If you're like me and everyone else who's confused at what Yonex is doing launching three identical looking rackets at three different price points, could be four in the future, and you want to know how to tell them apart visually, let me break it down for you. So at the time of writing, there's been three rackets at three different price points released from Yonex with the Astrox 100, the AT8S and the AT8D rackets. The reviews will be coming out in my next three videos, so make sure you subscribe for that. So in terms of price points, we all know that the top end racket is the Japanese made model, so that will be the Pro model, even though the Astrox 100 has ZZ instead of the Pro behind it in this case. So the second tier will be the Tour models and the current third tier is the game model rackets. Both tour and game model rackets are made in Taiwan. Easy? So what do you think about this style of marketing? Comment down in the comments section below. So the easiest way to tell the pro, tour and game racket apart is the support cap right above the wooden handle on the rackets. So the tour racket has a similar support cap to the Japanese made pro model rackets, whereas the game rackets have the older generation boxy design racket support cap on them, coincidentally, which is the one that is actually used on the current Astrox 99 and the second generation Astrox 88 S and D rackets. The next thing you can differentiate is the racket frame profile, whether it's fully recessed or half recessed at the top. The Pro and Tour models have a fully recessed racket frame profile, whilst the game models only have the top half of the racket frame recess. So keep a close eye on those. Third on the list is the shaft thickness of the racket. Expect the Japanese made models to have the thinnest shafts for each model. The Tour racket thus far has an almost similar shaft diameter to the Pro, albeit a tiny bit thicker, but will still be thinner compared to the game model rackets. And lastly, you will see the Tour, Game or Pro decals on the racket themselves so make sure you keep a keen eye. So all the rackets have been looking great so far and I've been absolutely impressed with the production quality of the Made in Taiwan models. So hopefully this has given you some insight into how Yonex are launching their new rackets at different price points. I will see you in the next one.